unless you've got unlimited funds, or are happy to sign a contract in return for an upfront discount. Price is a major contributing factor to your smartphone buying decision. The choice of reasonably priced, well-built, and well-configured phones has increased this year, and the UU in are all compelling choices. Now there's another to add to the list, but the name won't be as familiar. The Zuck C1 is Lenovo's answer to the growing challenge from Xiaomi. It's the Zuck C1. And the phone is Lenovo's answer to the growing challenge from Xiaomi in China. Zuck is a Lenovo-backed, online-only phone manufacturer. And the Z1 is its first device. Unlike Xiaomi's phones, Zuck will ship worldwide. And because the Z1 runs Cyanogen's build of Android, it comes with Google Play and all associated apps installed. The price? Just $320. That's a bit less than the majority of phones listed above. So what's it like? Unfussy, but still attractive design The first thing you'll notice when you pick up the Z1 is the build, quality, materials, and weight. It has an aviation-grade aluminum chassis with curved edges, sensibly placed buttons, and a neatly drilled speaker grille. The rear panel is made from shiny white plastic, and although doesn't come close to matching the warm aluminum, isn't terrible to look at or feel. It doesn't flex or bend in odd places either. And the minimalist look, the camera lens, dual LED flash, and a Zuck logo is all that breaks up the panel, is rather cool. It's a weighty little thing though. At 175 grams, part of which is due to the whopping 4 100 mAh battery inside. We'll come back to that later. But trust us, there's no need to complain that it's a non-removable cell. Around the front is a 5 5 inch 1080p display topped with an 8-megapixel selfie camera, and finished off with a rectangular home button beneath the screen. It's not a stunner, but it's not unattractive. I really appreciate the lack of messy antenna bands across the back, and pleasing visual touches such as the chrome ring around the camera lens, and the deceptively slim screen bezels. On the side, the sleep wake key is mounted below the volume controls but it was actually a little low for my liking. In the hand, it's very much like holding the HTC One due to the